This video is rated PG for pointlessly gaming. Welcome. Welcome back to pointlessly gaming plays. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty fucking smooth, huh? Worked it in. That was um, good. Yeah, we're playing Resident Evil 4, a real mix up, I know. Um, <laughs> Bet you didn't see that one coming. Yeah. Idiot. <laughs> oh my god, please. Please! <laughs> Whoa, wait, what? Why wouldn't he buy it? <laughs> because I kept pressing no. Because this game was made by fucking. losers. Get gorillas. Yeah. Made by a bunch of fucking m monkeys. All right, Ashley, we're gonna do this at the same time. Wait. Wait. Why couldn't they just let us do it? Gameplay. Yeah, there's no like challenge to that, so I wonder why they made that a necessary event. Because we gotta show that Ashley and Leon are growing. Oh, closer they're insane. And they're doing. Their cycles have synced. They're doing activities together. They're a good couple. Yo, I would believe it if Leon was trans. I mean, the haircut. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I can finally take this off. Yeah, is that the last of the regenerators, or is that the last of them? For now. Maybe. We'll see. Uh gonna reload this guy yeah refill everything this is a, this next part kind of a slog this is another uh we already did yeah we did like a fucking uh, disney's haunted mansion minecart level right yeah we did that uh like two or three episodes ago okay and here it is okay i'm again. actually not gonna have my magnum equipped because i have it planned for something else Behind us! Among us. <gasps> oh no, these guys are sus. Oh my god, have you... <laughs> I hate you for saying Among Us. Yeah. But, have you ever seen the fucking... There was like a YouTube Rewind or something that was a musical, and it was fucking about Among Us. Really? And it was so fucking cringe. Oh, it was the cringiest goddamn thing. It, if it, I, I'm gonna send it to you, and I hope you put a little clip of it in the episode. I, I probably won't be able to. <gasps> Why? Because it's like another video. And it's nah, like a really like popular a, YouTube a, video. Just a clip. Yeah, no, it was know. not popular. No, it was not popular. <laughs> well, I mean, like, it was YouTube made, and they're not really no, big fans of us right now. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. Oh, shit. Well, you took care of that. I think. I hope. You took care of that. Oh, there we go. Woo. What was that city escape ass nonsense? Get the fuck off my car. What Guys, the, please. What are you doing in my car, old man? Respect my personal space. Oh, they're still alive. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Did I do it? Oh, okay, good. Woo! Oh, Ashley's right. having the fucking time of her life just. <laughs> she doesn't even this. like. She doesn't even know anything's wrong. <laughs> she's got like she's got like AirPods in. She's like listening to fucking like uh while I'm walking Sun on sunshine. Sun is shining in oh, the yeah. sky. <laughs> there ain't a cloud inside. <laughs> it stopped raining. Everybody's here today, yes. and don't you know? I love that song. Stop the car! Yeah, go okay. flip that switch. Burning down the avenue. <laughs> See how the sun shines brightly. <laughs> yeah, nice aim, jackass. He's shooting a fucking wall. I can get him around this corner. Meow, meow, meow. Lift has been activated. Hurry back to the bulldozer. You better leave my fucking hot piece of oh, ass alone. Whoa. If anyone touches her, I'm blowing up the island. <laughs> With me on it. <laughs> With me on it, because if she dies, I'll die too. 
Leon! They're taking my virginity! <laughs> <laughs> no, <Harry's. laughs> My God, <it's... laughs> Leon goes fucking beast mode. Yeah, <laughs> he goes feral. Leon, help! They're taking my virginity. Fuck off. <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck you. <laughs> no, that was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's fine. <laughs> Just foaming at the mouth. <laughs> That's our character development for Leon. He's he's gotten afraid <laughs> and now he wants to actually fuck Ashley. Yeah, yeah. He started out as like just like uh, very naive, but now now that they've talked about it, he's excited. And then the the prospect of her losing it to someone else it has infuriated him to no end. Yeah. That's character growth. <laughs> you become a shitty person. Yeah. <laughs> That's your S tier. <laughs> you have to be pure, Ashley. Die, please, You have please. no value to me. Oh, my fucking god. Oh, come on. Oh, god damn. Getting a mace to the side of the head. <laughs> Probably sucks. Oh, 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 okay. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go, got oh, follow okay. the rainbow. Nope, Ashley would 100% have died from that. Oh my god. Yeah, she's not even like in a little cockpit. <laughs> she doesn't have a cage. <laughs> she stands way too close to you. Yeah, <laughs> I can't wait to get her on my cockpit. Mm. We'll workshop that one. Come back to me. Come I, thought you would, I thought you would pull that in. <laughs> Pass, come back to me. I'll find a way to make it work. This is your, uh, are you using your, uh, get out of bit free card? Yeah. Alright. Fucking <laughs> get out of bit free. Okay. Yeah, we've established, we've established we get get out of bit free cards in, uh, Banjo. Ooh. Oh, right, yeah. Okay. I think I'm missing, like, one more treasure for the cat. Yeah. I don't know what color, but I'm gonna assume it's either blue or purple. Yeah, probably. Um, yeah, let's, uh, keep... Oh, wait. He might have first aid meds. I'm gonna buy a first aid med. Whale cum. Do you want to buy any whale cum? Eh, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Great, I've got fucking so much of it. <laughs> I have so much in stock. No one ever wants to buy the whale cum. I don't know why he turned into, like, a sailor there, kind of. <laughs> hey, Spongebob, me boy. No one ever wants to be the whale cum. Everyone's making fun of the fact that he's uh that Clancy Brown is gonna be in the next John Wick. Really? Yeah. Everyone's oh, just like Sponge Boy me Bob, I accidentally cooked John Wick's dog into a Krabby Patty. Who, oh, what's happening? who would John Wick be in the uh SpongeBob universe? Uh uh Squidward. I feel like he'd be that uh no, no I feel like he'd be that uh uh fish bounty hunter who can grow a fucking mustache. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't think he had a name. Oh my god, look at her tits. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Just wow. Just fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, the red eyes make her hotter. Yeah. It's an element of danger. You don't know if you're sticking it into Ashley or Plagueis. Is there gonna be teeth on there or? God, I fucking I hate that. I hate the fucking what? what? That was like a movie, right? Teeth. Teeth. Movie yeah, it was. Girl with like teeth in her vagina, and she like would eat. With teeth, vagine. Teeth, vagine. I don't actually know what it was about, other than a woman had teeth in her vagina and ate a penis. God, that's like the worst kind of phantom pain. <laughs> phantom cock pain. Yeah. Have you ever seen James Silent Bob? Who? Her? I'll take that as a no. Her? <laughs> no. No, I haven't. Jay and Silent Bob were uh, a duo of characters made by Kevin Smith, I want to say his name is. I, I Yeah, it's Bob Kevin Lark? Smith, I knew that. No! That's... Wait. That's Kevin James. Oh, right. Kevin... Wait, who's Kevin Smith? Kevin Smith, he's a famous director. He was also an actor. He plays Silent Bob. 
Um, I'm trying to remember what he's directed. I think he had a hand in Captain Marvel. Maybe. I don't know. He's famous. He, he, he a lot of people know him. Great. That helps me out so much. Anyway, your point. They have a movie called Jane Silent Bob Strike Back. Yeah. And it's a sequel to their first movie. And in it, there's a uh, villain named the Cock Puncher. <laughs> <laughs> it's played by Mark Hamill. Really? And he's just a guy with giant, like, fucking Hulk hand fists. And he's. <laughs> <laughs> or it's like Cock Knocker or something. Yeah, I think it's Cock Knocker. And he's played by Mark Hamill, and it was fucking hilarious, but watching him punch Jay in the balls with a giant fucking blue fist as a kid, that upset me greatly. <laughs> like, I, I turned the movie off. <laughs> <laughs> you're just like a little fucking on. kid, and you're like laughing along, you're like, hee hee, this is funny, and that happens, and just fucking straight face just turned it off. <laughs> I just get up, turn off the film, and I go outside. <laughs> but, uh... Oh, the girl who plays, I forget her name, Boo Boo Kitty Fuck is the character's <laughs> name, but. <laughs> who? Boo Boo Kitty Fuck? Is that the name of the character? That's the, that's, that's her pet name. <laughs> Jay gives her a pet name and it's Boo Boo Kitty Fuck and she loves it. <laughs> I don't know why. She's fucking tasty. But it kind of reminds me of, um. What's that fucking. It's like a faux horror movie. Where it's like about two dudes who like go fishing and these teens show up and they're like the same place like isn't it like Tucker, Tucker and Dale versus Evil yep yep I love that fucking movie so much we that's should... one of my favorite movies we should watch it I would love to watch Tucker and Dale with you oh you and I are oh. Tucker and Dale yeah I don't know which one's oh. which <gasps> oh I died oh my god to a fucking mace no less yeah kick ass yeah even what? Sorry. <laughs> the way you said to a mace no less reminded me of when Oni said Kikassia even. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they flew them out. I don't remember they that. flew them out to Malasia. Kikassia no less. <laughs> Are we still gonna do like a day where we just watch the fucking channel? Or we watch all of the Doug Walker films? I would love to. I, I would love to watch The Bold Leafly with you, and I would love to watch Suburban Nights. I can't watch Kick Asia because it's just really boring to me. Really? But I would love to watch Suburban Nights and To Bold Leafly. Okay, we can skip. We can skip Kick Asia. Is that fine with you? Because I've I've never I've never made it all the way through. It's just really boring. I, they're all really boring. Well, but not, but but, <laughs> but, uh, but, no, but Suburban Nights is kind of fun. I, it's, it's only fun the because they're the all end. dressed up as like fucking yeah, characters. Yeah, it's like characters I like. But there's a part at the end where uh, who is it? Mati dies. Yeah. And they have him in a Quaker Oats can. Right. And they give it to the strongman, and he just fucking hurls him into space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the funniest shit. <laughs> Watching him just, like, lazily toss a Quaker Oats can, and it fucking, it, like, sp rotates insanely yeah. fast it, it, to, to space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and just the, uh, it was so unintentionally funny how bad the effect is. Like, they're, they're, like, okay. A lot of people say how, like, Angry Joe is, like, really unfunny in that movie. I fucking, I love him in, I love him in Suburban Night. He is really fucking unfunny. Period. <laughs> yeah. Not just, yeah. not just. Well, like, okay, her. but he's, like, he's, like, Anigo Montoya from yeah. Princess Bride, and he keeps, the, the only Getting joke he gets is that he keeps fucking up his famous line. Yeah. Because comedy. But, like, as a fucking little <laughs> idiot, <laughs> when I watched it for the first time, that shit was fucking hilarious. That was comedy. And, um, in, like, the beginning of the movie, when, like, they gather everyone into the fucking room, and Joe walks in thinking he's, gonna, like, want a new car, and he just walks in, and he's like, I got a new car. No! 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 <laughs> like, that fucking, that makes me laugh. <laughs> you know what? That might have done something to you because that definitely is your brand of comedy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ab abrupt, abruptly uh, denouncing whatever is happening. <laughs> that is definitely your fucking brand of comedy. Stop it. <laughs> You're gonna make me cry. <laughs>
<laughs> Suburban Nights is How your brand you? of comedy name. <laughs> How dare you say my fucking comedy was formed by Doug is Walker. On par, is formed by and on par with Suburban Nights. <laughs> That's the rudest and meanest thing you've ever said that to me. That was really mean. <laughs> Uh, you're as funny. Mean. You're as funny as to boldly flee, <laughs> babe. You better not have meant that. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're just hurting each other's feelings now. Yeah. Oh, God. No, babe. Like you're really good. You're like, you're like as good as like Doug Walker's The Wall. <laughs> No, babe. I, I, you're so entertaining to watch. You're like you're like marathoning all three of Doug Walker films. You're like the Power Rangers rant. <laughs> if I had to pinpoint your comedy to like one thing, it would be the Power Rangers rant. I mean, when you were a kid, you said it all the time. You'd be out when you're out. Yeah. <laughs> Look who's gay now. Me? I always knew he was gay. Like, car is gay. I am the cum bringer. <laughs> I am the cum drinker. <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah, this guy's here. Who is this man? Have we met him? Nope. He's, um... <laughs> so, apparently... <laughs> Leon... You're, like, actually struggling? He's... Yeah. <laughs> He's... Uh... Oh, did I lose? Oh, shit. You lost? Oh, I guess oh, my I God. lost. Uh, he's, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's, a, he's an old war vet with Leon. His name's, uh, Krauser. Was uh, he in, was he in Resident Evil 3? Nope, he wasn't in any Resident Evil up until this one. Okay. We're supposed to give a shit about him and the, how he's betrayed Leon because he's fighting against him now. Um. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, but we have no fucking clue who he is. He's like. Oh, that's fucking lame. He's like. You're surprised to see me, Leon, and he's like, "You died in Iraq," and he's just like, "Yeah, well, now I've got a rack. Look at these babies." <laughs> and he shows off his fucking himbo man tits. Yeah, and that's why Leon cut him. Um, yeah, but then like retroactively, Capcom made a game that was shit, and um, it had Krauser in it. To, like, mean, like, oh, yeah, no, he, yeah, he's part of Resident Evil lore. Was that, like, Revelations or something? I can't nah, remember if Revelations was, it was well like a, received or not. It was, like, a point-and-shoot game. It was, like, really fucking bad. You may be able to prolong your life, but it's not like you can escape your inevitable death, is it? What? Good one. Great one-liner. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't even trying, Yeah, dick! <laughs> I gotta go put fucking polysporin on my tits. <laughs> Wee! Oh, oh, there's no floor! Hey, look, I put polysporin on your tits. Maybe some other time. <laughs> yeah, well, fuck later. It goes over the rail. There's like, there's like nothing. There's nothing. Yeah. It just oh, falls into a meat grinder. <laughs> it's just like a vat of lava. <laughs> Leon yeah. runs to the ledge and just sees, like, the last of her gurgling fucking... <laughs> just bones. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Ada! He, like, runs over because he hears her screaming and just sees the bones, and he's like, Oh, good, she got away. <laughs> <laughs> Thank god. <laughs> Thank god she missed that skeleton. She's, I know she's afraid of skeletons. She must have saw the bones and went somewhere else. <laughs> 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 oh, are you ready for some like fucking anime shit? Ah, uh, yeah. Wasn't this inspired by the movie? Oh, I don't know. Or did this inspire the movie? I can't remember what came oh! out first. <laughs> Me. Oh, <hoo! laughs> wow. Whoa. Yeah, this was definitely inspired by the movie. Oh, oh. oh, oh run. <laughs> Jesus fucking Ah, great. bullshit. Ah, bullshit. That was pure luck. That wasn't skill. <laughs> Unlocking. Oh! Can you- what? You can actually dodge that? Yeah. Okay. Wasn't even a thing. Wasn't even a fucking thing for him. Wow, what a comfy looking seat. Oh, I thought I was gonna say take the seat. <laughs> Oh, 
What a fucking king. Oh, I love him. It's like Is that <laughs> Is that post supposed to mean something? Was that a Conquer's Bad Friday reference? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I remembered Conker's fucking little monologue while he's sitting in his throne. With his weird raspy voice. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I can't do it. You get what you wanted, but it's not what you needed, or some bullshit like that. Yeah, he had a rasp and a lisp. Yeah. He was a very. That's a very unique voice. Ooh. Good. We should play Conker. I've never played all the way through Conker. I don't think I've ever played Conquer. <gasps> no? No. I right, mean, Nintendo I might have... Don't sue me. I've only ever played it on in an emulator. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I think I might have done it through an emulator, but never got far. N neither could I, because I would always turn cheats on, and it would break the game. Really? I think my computer yeah. was shit, so Conquer ran like shit. It might also just be really difficult to control with a fucking keyboard, because I definitely that didn't is... have a USB Nintendo 64 controller at the time. That is also true. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, Conker's okay. I, yeah, I'd like to play it. I like the game, what I got to play of it. I know it's pretty much just Banjo and Kazooie, but he swears. <gasps> I... And has a hot girlfriend. I don't... I honestly don't think Conker compares to... To Banjo? Like, at all? To Banjo or even Donkey Kong 64. Uh, even Donkey Kong 64? Yeah, and I'm, and I'm like, eh, with that game. Oh my god. Yeah. So you really don't like Conker, then? <clears throat> I mean, like, I don't know. And if it doesn't like... compare to a game that you're already, like, not fond of, doesn't that mean it's shit? <laughs> I guess, yeah. Oh, Ashley lost her tracker. Which that I don't bitch, know. Why don't you take it off? Tracking, but that's okay. What was that? Oh, yeah, he doesn't even have, like, a little fucking thing. I mean, he kind of does. We have, a, we have a map. Okay, I guess that's how he was tracking her. Oh, it's the fucking... Gab the fucking glab 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 glab. Yeah! <laughs> I'm glad we both thought it because of the way his arms were moving. Yeah. Can you can you just put a little clip of... Guy, I'm the glub glub Yeah. <laughs> The uh, shwabble double shwabble double shwabble gobble 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 I'm full of shwipper glipper kind I am the yeast of thoughts and fuck Fuck Shwabble double shwabble gobble shwabble gobble gobble shwabble gobble shwabble gobble shwabble gobble gobble This part was insanely annoying in professional mode Oh god I bet How many shots does it take to get him to hop onto the roof in uh I think it was either one well placed shotgun shot or two um, and that's kind of all you had time for, because this guy was... He was one-hit kill? Yep. Pretty much. Okay. And then, yeah, he'll just appear out of fucking nowhere and try to kill me. Or he'll just be around a corner, and it's horrible. Yeah. Okay, I don't love quick time events, but I will say this. That is kind of immersive, giving giving you the reaction time. Because it sucks when, like, a game doesn't let you react at all when maybe you could have in real life. So I do kind of like that in this, that it, it is like, oh, press this button really quick. All right, you would have survived that then. You know? Yeah. Because I, I hate when it takes control away from the player and it's like, you walk into a room, and there's bad guys there, and your character gets shot in a cutscene, and it's like, I I saw that coming a mile away. Why couldn't I have fucking done anything to prevent that? Yeah. Oh, come on. It's a fucking shotgun. I know, which means it spreads. It, it is, is not, not a, my face. A it should hit accuracy. literally everything. It is not a weapon of accuracy, babe. <laughs> babe. No, but like, it should... <laughs> It should, oh! like, have hit, hit it just because of its spread. Uh, the pellets could have missed. Like, they're very small. Fucking you could have missed. I'm sorry, and I didn't I did. mean that. I'm just angry because... No, you meant it. Well, That's maybe, fine. maybe I'm not performing as well as I think I should be. Oh, dear lord. <clears throat> oh, cool. What the fuck? That's Please tight. That's fucking sick. Please leave wow. me alone. Please leave me alone. Get the fuck Would away you... from me. Leave me alone. There we go. 
Would you marry that if it had an amazing personality? Nope. <gasps> you oh, shallow well. fucking cunt. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Man, <laughs> what's up, Doc? <Dago? laughs> what's up, Abomination? <gasps> is that what his name is? No, I don't know. No. It's just a fucking what's up, thing. Obama Nation? What's up, Obama Nation? What's up? Abomination. Where are all my fans at? <laughs> you wanted to say another word. Uh, no. Oh, okay. That's rare for you. <laughs> no. Fan? Why? What? What did you think? I thought you were going to say a bad word. No. <laughs> Fan fans was all I was thinking. Okay. Uh -huh. I am the yeast of thoughts and knowledge. Can it just climb up that wall? <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> did I get it right accidentally? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna combine all these fucking green herbs and immediately eat one. <laughs> I didn't realize just how many you fucking had. Right? Oh, I thought you were gonna take way more time to. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> All right. Boss fight what the time. Fuck? Why would that door close? Uh... <laughs> Who closed that door? <laughs> Who closed that fucking door? Whoever did that, you're a dick! <laughs> Salazar's ghost. <laughs> Leon Kennedy, I had to fuck with you one more time. We could have been friends, you prick! Whoa. Do you think Leon and Salazar would have been friends? I think they would have been buddies. In another life, maybe. I think they could have been buddies. Yeah. They had a good rapport going. Oh, 100% they did. It's the best in the game. Your right hand comes off. <laughs> After that fucking hole. Yeah, sorry about that. It's alright. Want a hand job? <laughs> Yo. Boy, do I! Well, <laughs> <laughs> and how? <laughs> I don't know why the uh, the way you said "boy do I" reminded me of fucking Toy Story. Really? Uh, there's something that Slinky Dog says that I don't know what the fuck it means. He says like "Daddy Bob Howdy." I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? Like, do you remember that kind of voice clip? <laughs> Yeah, because wow, like, that's Slinky had fun. like a Slinky had like a like a raspy voice too. Yeah, he was uh, played by Ernest. Oh, that's right, he was. I forget Jim, his name. Jim Varney or something. Jim Varney, yeah, yeah, Jim Varney of London. <laughs> Varney. Varney, my pebbles. <laughs> Man, mix everything fucking up. season four of Castlevania. Season four of Castlevania was tits. It, it, tits in a good way or tits in a bad way? Mm, tits in a not great way. <laughs> I mean, like, it wasn't like God Like, awful. every pair of tits, every pair of tits is a phenomenal pair of tits. Yeah. But some are less good than others. <laughs> you know? That's fair. Like, it was still awesome because it was Castlevania. It was not as good as the other pair of tits that were season one, two, three. Mm -hmm. I just, man... It's like any everything that happened didn't matter. Yep. And, and, then, and then every like, every fucking conversation went in a circle. Yep. Yep. Every conversation was I want to do this. Here is why. This is why I want to do this. This is what I want to do. This is why I want to do it. Yeah, it was fucking infuriating. Were we high? <laughs> like, what, no. did we just pick up on it because we were like hyper fixated? No, but like, because I had watched the entire season before you and Cam, That's and right. then we watched it together, and I was like, okay, I noticed this my first time watching it, and it was specifically with like Isaac and the and the fly demon. Yep. And I was like, they they go in circles a lot in this conversation. Do you guys like note? Like, I waited until the scene was over, and then I was like, I did think, you guys notice? Yeah that they went around in circles a lot in that conversation. And you were like, e yeah. And then we started no, to notice it. No, it's definitely not as pensive. I, I pointed out every cyclical thought yeah. they had. And then every time afterwards, 
we caught on. Like, as much as I love the lesbian combo that was Striga and Morgana, <sighs> their talk, yeah. both of their talks, before and after uh, Striga's berserk moment, uh, was, like, talking in circles. Oh, that's cool. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, every... Every dialogue just between two characters yep. was very cyclical. Yep, because like Tri Trevor and Sypho were like, I want to stop act, I want to stop reacting, and I want to start acting. And it's like, it's like, yes, we should. And then like e that carried into like the next person's conversation, because then they were like, yes, we need to act. Acting is what we should do. We should stop reacting. And it's like Jesus fucking Christ, we just heard this. Like it's like it's almost clever, but yeah, it was more annoying than intelligent. Yeah, and then those like two fucking vampires, like Varney and Ratko or whatever the fucking his name was. Yeah, it was like Ratko or something. He has like one of the coolest fucking monologues in the show where he's like explaining why he's a fucking cool dude. Um Buzz Blue. But who the fuck is he? Yeah. We have no fucking he, idea yeah, who he is. Barney, they should have been introduced when we first saw the fucking uh, League the, of Vampires. The that League was of in, Vampires. That is the word I was going to use. The League of Vampires <laughs> that was in Dracula's castle. Yeah. But since they weren't there, they were definitely just characters written for that season. They weren't like they didn't play a bigger part other than Varney being death. Being spoilers. death spoilers, yeah. <laughs> Which just came out of fucking nowhere because I didn't give a shit about Varney. Yeah. Like, he was funny because he was voiced by fucking Malcolm McDowell. Yeah, Malcolm McDowell's a delight. <laughs> but, I'm Varney of fucking London, you, you cunt. <laughs> yeah, but then also, like, Jesus fucking Christ. Like, he did nothing until the end. Yep. He didn't fight anyone. Well, that's not true. He did. Oh, he was in the staircase dimension. No, the bookcase dimension. But even then, it wasn't Varney. No, exactly. Yeah, the character did, but it wasn't Varney. Yeah. And it just wasn't a strong enough connection. Yeah. Because it wasn't even a character introduced in season three, which would have made it like... Oh, this is something they were building towards. No, this is something they pulled out of their ass because they needed a... A villain ending. because we don't have Dracula anymore. Because because we made Dracula too likable. And we got rid of Carmilla way too soon. Who... Who even fucking kills Carmilla? Isaac. I don't even remember that fight at all. I do remember it now. I remember the room being filled with blood and yeah, shit. Yeah, it was a sick fucking fight, but, like, not a great I, end I for I didn't Carmilla. fucking remember it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I love it. I didn't remember it even a little. I love it because Isaac is using, like, the demons to help him, and he's got that, like, one four-winged buff Oh, yeah, isn't she like, fight me yourself? And he's like, uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> and then he wins. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> and then she fucking dies. That's that's literally what happened. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's that's the long and short of it. <laughs> He's like, You're you're a fucking coward. He's like, You're a vampire. <laughs> you're a vampire and I'm a dude. <laughs> like I'm a guy. I'm a I'm a guy who's been in the desert for like a week. Yeah. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why do you think I sent all of them to fight you and tire you out? Like... <laughs> <laughs> no? And then she died. And then she died. Yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> oh, God. And Hector lost a finger. Oh, oh darn. Yeah. Well, and the hot one <laughs> lost her, her life. life. <laughs> What was her name? I don't even remember. Lenore. That yeah, name. Hector Lenore. was like, yeah, Hector okay. was like, hey, we should fuck. And Lenore was like, uh, no. And then uh, she died. No. And then she died. <laughs> Which was so bullshit. Why? Why couldn't she just go with it? She didn't want to. Okay, well, we're going to continue this conversation off camera because uh, the episode's over. So next time on Pointlessly Gaming, uh, uh, we're getting real close. We are. We're getting really close. I uh, might finish yeah. this in like two or three more episodes. Yeah. 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 I think. 
Um, yeah. All right. Um, so we'll see you guys next time. Watch all of Castlevania, because despite our criticism, season four is still animated beautifully. It's acted wondrously. Oh, yeah. The animation is incredible. The story is good minus season four. Yeah, but season four is still okay. Do it. Season Just four watch it all. Still Just watch it all. Is worth watching. Yes. Okay. Anyway. We love you all. Uh, see you next time for uh, uh, Castlevania, Castlevania, pointlessly uh, evil for season. Yeah, three. you got there. Yeah. Uh, and then, and then, all our viewers went, uh, "No," and we died. <laughs> we died. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>